right, here is another Machine Learning Monday. Yay, brains! <laughs> We're really happy to debut what we think is going to be the easiest way to understand some of what machine learning is, and yes. we called it BrainCraft, and we'll talk about that in a bit. But first, I wanted to um, say kudos, Lady Ada, for making things like the Cricut hat for Raspberry Pi that made yes. robotics really easy on the Raspberry Pi. Mm -hmm. We made things like CircuitPython Blinka for Raspberry Pi, and that made it really easy to get sensors in. Yes. And so one of the themes that we have is is it, can you understand something in five minutes? Can you can you do a demo in five minutes? Yes. And so you started working on the BrainCraft hat. And yes, this came this is, from... We had the video. Yeah, we, this came from meeting with Pete Warden. He's head of uh, TensorFlow. TensorFlow. I think it's called like the brain, the brain Group at Google. Yeah, so he group. said, if you could wave a magic wand and have anything you want on the a perfect machine learning hat. Perfect assisting yeah. hardware for embedded on the edge machine learning. So it's we, real. We'll we show it in a second. Like, we talked for like 10 minutes and we came up with some ideas. Yeah. And this is the output. It's been a month ago, so you're fast. Yes. So we call it BrainCraft because we're like, yeah. we're crafting little brains. Yeah. So what are some of the things on this board? So I, we, I looked at, you know, what are people doing with TensorFlow Lite machine learning? And it's a lot of it is either vision recognition, audio recognition, um, or plugging in sensors and trying to do well, sensor recognition. To be clear, this is what they say they're going to do for their startup. I haven't seen, and this is the problem, we haven't seen a lot of these demos in action. There's lots it's of- It's very hard. Yeah, there's, when, when we're like, okay, cool, let's, can we see a vision demo? It's like, well, not really. Or, it'll, or you'll yeah. see a terminal with a bunch of words. It's well, like, how could you actually see what's going on? Yeah, another thing is that it, the Raspberry Pi computers, which is what people, as the most popular single board computers, there's like millions of them, they weren't fast enough to really do, they could do some audio, but they couldn't do vision recognition. Yeah. Audio recognition, we have seen some projects. We saw the AIY kit, yeah. which... Uh, we have two products that do um, yeah. the vision kit. speech. The vision kit has a hardware accelerator, but the audio kit actually um, it uses the internet. Yeah. I think. We so, don't want to use the internet. Which, and we don't want to use the internet anymore. So what we're trying to do is do edge computing. So you don't have to have internet connectivity. You can do everything on the device itself. And the Pi 4 is actually about fast enough to be able to do some of these things. Yeah. Turns out it's, it's really fast, and we're going to show some demos. Mm. So, okay, so what's what are some of these things on the board itself? What does it have? So um, this is the bottom of the board. So um, the lower area is the audio... Um, input-output codec, so it's an I2S um, codec that has three analog audio inputs, three analog uh, audio outputs, uh, including a stereo um, headphone and also stereo speaker output. So it's like the WM8960, I think, which is a really nice codec. Uh, that does it over I2S, so it could get good quality digital to analog conversion. And then um, there's a connector for a display. So recently we got these really nice small TFT displays. And if you flip the board over, you can see I've got the 240 by 240 display. It's not very big, but it's good enough just to give um, the person who's using it some feedback. And I want to have it be like low cost and small. You also have some RGB LEDs, some dot star LEDs. So that gives you three LED outputs that can be used for if you're not close enough to see the display, you can have it blink lights that are visible from far away. Um, a five-way joystick, a button, uh, the two microphone inputs, a headphone output, speakers output, and then I got some Stemma connectors so you can connect servos, sensors, okay. Neopixels. So all solder free. Um, you can plug in sensors. We have all the libraries for it. Yeah. And then what we want to do is out of the box, first thing, you just plug it in and it starts doing vision. Vision is a popular one because yeah. the Pi has the camera. There's a slot for the camera, and the camera is a really good way to get some quick um, machine learning, like object detection, yeah. going. Let's boot this thing out. So we have two cameras here. We have one. This is a split screen. Yeah. So the, that's where we're going to stand and show some of the objects it's going to recognize. And, then and that's here. the actual device. This is real. We'll be shipping this soon. So yeah, it's like down here. Yeah. So let's uh, let's start it up. Okay. So I'm going to start this out. I'm actually SSH'd in, so it's just um, going to come up. Okay. But I, you know, I could, I could type on here if yeah. I wanted to, and that's just showing the console of the Raspberry Pi as I booted. All right. So I'm using um, our Pi Vision, which was written by this woman Lay, and um, I've got Pi Game going with it as well to help me do right. some annotation. Okay. So one of our ideas is, what if you could do something like a scavenger hunt? So you get this out of the box. It could be for kids. It could be for adults. But the first thing is, let's do a scavenger hunt. So. Um, 
I, I need to go get a coffee cup. Yeah. Coffee mug. Now, you just heard it speak coffee mug. That's important because we also wanted to have real audio feedback. Maybe you're vision impaired or maybe you just want another way to know what it is. Yeah, so it's like a headphone connected right. here. Next up. We all Classic. Water bottle. Okay, now you can see that's really fast. And then we decided, well, maybe it'd be fun to um, look at this word list and see what other things. So what I did is I, I went on an iPad and I grabbed photos off the internet that I saw in this giant word list of things that it can recognize. Yeah. It <laughs> does a pretty good job. Okay. So let's start with this. Taco. That's right. Yeah, so what you're seeing is the this here is the camera output from there's this, the Raspberry camera. And then it's displaying what the camera sees. And then using Pi Game, I'm displaying the frame per Giant second, pen. which is about six, seven, the temperature of the Raspberry yeah. Pi. And then down here, it has the word of what it's yeah. detecting. So in this case, tiger. And uh, when it's detected something for like um, half a second, English letter. consistently, Clabber. it will um, e. make the text in green. Cheetah. Leopard. That's actually kind of similar animals. Yeah, and that's that's neat because we we've, we've tried a few different ones and we're like, okay, let's see, you know, we'll know the difference between a cheetah, and, cheetah and leopard, and it did. So, um, I want to just show how fast it can go. Yeah, it's quite fast. It's seven seven frames per English second letter. is just about good enough. Tiger. Um, to I think have like, uh, as far as humans are concerned, you know, if you, if it something giant, happens giant. within two hundred milliseconds, we consider it instantaneous. And this is Taco. TensorFlow Lite running with um, the MobileNet V2 model. Yeah, so this is a thousand the, words altogether, but these are just the ones I wanted to show real fast. Water bottle. A lot of syringes. Yeah. Do, <laughs> I think this depends on syringes. You can do computer keyboards. Yeah. Hold on. That. Ah, sorry. I'm going to break everything. Computer keyboard. Computer keyboard. Okay. So that's the demo. Cockroaches. Cockroach. Pens it thinks are syringes a lot. And then it thinks the back around here bullet is a bullet train, train which is Yeah, because cool. of the fluorescent lights, which is not a bad... It's not a bad yeah. guess. I could I could see that. Okay, so that's our demo. Yeah. Um, we'll be showing more of this, but this is world premiere. And uh, not bad. Yeah. Uh, this is the only Pi Hat machine learning demo that I've seen where you plug it in, it starts up, and you can do immediate object recognition. Um, one of the things I'm going to send an email to see if I can find someone at TI. Wouldn't it be re really cool if there was a uh, AI ML speak and spell? So speak and yeah. spell ML from TI. So you hold up cool. things and it's like things, yeah. I recognized it and then it spells out what the thing yeah. is. And it could be battery powered yeah. and you would go around and it would say, okay, today's scavenger hunt is all sorts of you know foods yeah next one is oh you're going to the zoo a lot of dogs <laughs> yeah there's, there's, a, lot dog there's a lot of dog breeds in there so okay well, tigers that's that's, animals uh, Braincraft, and that is machine learning monday okay so this is our first demo but so far so good with the tensorflow light mobile net v2 detection